welcome back to Bougie Bravo Bitches, where we talk all that Bravo tea from basic to bougie. We're your hosts. I'm Jenna. I'm Darcy. And I'm Amanda. Let's get into it, bitch. I'm holding my microphone like I'm J-Lo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a desk, guys. I'm sitting in my childhood bedroom. My my computer's propped up on a boppy nursing pillow. <laughs> this is my life. Did you guys, speaking of J-Lo, did you guys see Ben Affleck's daughter? No. No. Oh, my God. She came out with this whole speech about masks and stuff, and people are just roasting her on the internet, and they're all like, like, we little. understand why. Isn't she like a teenager? She's like a teenager. Maybe? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they're like, we know why Ben is always stressed out and drinking. He's married to J-Lo and he's got this girl as his daughter. It's like really oh funny. My God. I should look into terrible. it. Terrible. No, that's terrible. I, well, the internet is roasting her. It's, it's well, just, will, you know. As much as I love, love, love J-Lo, it's got, something's got to be wrong with her. I mean, she can't make a relationship work to save her life. Just saying. She's Fair got enough. a big ego, I feel like. You know, it's her, she's probably not easy As to deal with. As she should, rightfully so. I heard that there she literally go. sleeps like uh, in like a, like inside like a pod on like a bed of like two million pillows and does all this stuff so that her face won't wrinkle. Like, because when you sleep, like your face stretches back. So she sleeps basically like sitting up in a pod so that her face won't wrinkle or something like that. That's a level of dedication I hope to never have I mean, to absolutely <laughs> anything. I wonder if Kim does the same thing. She's gorgeous and she's hot as hell. So I feel like whatever she's doing, I would like to do it too. Good for you. That's what I'm going to say about that. I feel like I can't with this mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally like a pop star today. You um, can't even see your face. It's it covered with the microphone. Dedication. I love that. Right? dedicated anyways we're still in the bravo desert literally two shows this last week and the worst part is is the less shows we have like the longer it takes me to watch them because i'm just like Mm -hmm. on vacation from bravo i'm not thinking about it and i'm like i'll just watch it later we did get some like some piping hot tea in the past week so we recorded last wednesday but we didn't we didn't put it up until friday and on thursday Lindsay announced that she was pregnant Lindsay hubbard so that was piping hot tea but everyone knows that at this point we're not breaking news here i don't think unless you live under a rock but what's coming out (laughs) this week is that is who her baby daddy is which Amanda sent us his LinkedIn photo, so thank you for that. I did. Then, I did. He looks but, older now, though. There was another photo of him. I'll try to find it and then send you guys that one, too. Yeah, no, more stuff's coming out. I think People just, or Us Weekly just put something out. Reality <laughs> put something out. Like, oh, a lot of did you out. see, I think Bravo and Cocktails, like, wrote a whole thing, yeah. and then Lindsay, like, thanked them. Like, thank you for not releasing his information. Like, get out of Which, here. Like, not you know. for nothing, like, a few months back, they were teasing like summer house star is pregnant like, yeah they were like the first ones who released while. it they were like the ones who released it so oh you, you know, know my what? gripe with them is how they always have to let you know we were the first ones that put that uh, out like okay we yeah. don't care that's what your job is you do blinds my like favorite thing stuff, is that like come on people pay for their stuff and then they post it in like the reddit groups and bravo and cocktails get so mad they're like stop posting it's so good yeah yeah the internet baby (laughs) (laughs) nothing is a secret in today's society i think that's what sacred sacred secret nothing i mean i think Lindsay should know that people love a (laughs) paywall well yeah i feel like (laughs) Lindsay's like like you know he didn't agree to this i don't owe you anymore she she's getting like she's going back at like people writing on her posts and stuff like that and she's like i don't owe you any more than what i give you and like okay fine but it's like this guy knew what he signed up for he knocked up a reality star so it's like people are going to want to know and also if you really want to be secret about it just don't address it just don't address that situation Mm -hmm. she doesn't want to be secret about it no well she posted that dumb fucking picture with a heart over his face which here's come on i gotta say this about her though she in that thing where she thanked bravo and cocktails it's like we're proud of each other. We couldn't be happier. We couldn't be more in love. I'm like, you've known him five seconds. He knocked you up after 10 seconds. Like, stop with the, like, we're the perfect happy go like I hate that shit. I hate when people say that because mm-hmm. it means you're not. It means, like, uh, we don't really know each other. We're going to see if it works. And he's probably going to leave me because I'm fucking crazy. Like, that's really what you're trying to say? Just say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
we're starting early tonight. Well, I'm just like, she annoys me with that shit. I hate when people do that shit. It's like, just yeah. be real about it. It's like the more that you scream that you're such a happy couple, it's like, mm, right. are you really? I, or are you like, just putting you that on that for like. You shit about Carl like a year ago. <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore. My philosophy has always been, if you have to say it, then it's probably not true. I agree. Right. So just keep it moving. Yeah. So then. I don't know how this got started. Someone, I guess she, in an interview maybe she was asked about like, what do you think like Carl's going to think when he finds out or something? And she was like, his reaction isn't my responsibility. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, you are clearly still bitter. So you can't be so happy. <laughs> yeah. moved on. You are clearly still I mean, bitter. I mean, to be fair, he did like embarrass her on national television. So she embarrassed be herself too. on national television by mm. calling him cocaine Carl. I'm just going to put that, that piece second out that. there. She deserved what she got. But I'm happy. She should have been the one to break it off with him. Exactly. I'm happy for her. I will say that. All children are a blessing and I'm happy for her. She has no clue what love is, romantic love. But I think that maybe she will find the love she's been looking for in a child. And maybe she's just meant to be a mom and not someone's significant other. And you don't need to be. Maybe being a mom will chill her out too. Yeah. Maybe being a mom will chill her out. Mm -hmm. Maybe she yeah. just does that. Maybe she just never dates again. Maybe, you know, this guy's that's not going to last, let's be honest. Like, she's just going to be a single mom at some point. Yeah. But, like, maybe that's the love she needs. And it will heal. Yeah, like, Lala, there's nothing wrong trauma. with. Uh-uh. And there's nothing wrong with being a single mom. So, yeah. there you go. Carl was also seen out with a mystery brunette. Of course he was, because the sunshine was off of him. So, he needed to bring it back. <laughs> well, he should I date. Don't... It's been a year. <laughs> Get you just out there. Hate he probably called the paparazzi on himself, oh, okay? Oh my god. Come on. He probably did. Come on. You know people have been looking to find him to see like what his reaction to this is. By the way, since we're talking about that, they started filming last week. Have you guys seen any stills? There's like you you did post that there's two new girls. There are two new girls, so they are a Lala and Anne look alike. Or Lala and Anna. That's somebody, it looks exactly like Lala. I have like, and you know it how you can't like you can't zoom in on pictures on like Instagram uh stories. Which so I was like trying stupid. to yeah, not I was stories. it annoys yeah. me. Um so yes, I was like, is that Lala? Yeah. So their they names all are Lexi the and Baby with the same face and say, I want to look like that. <laughs> I said, I think and I said that. I said, based. do they just p- take a picture of Kim with them and be like, I want to yes. look like Kim? I mean, I really think they do. Wait, I commented and wrote, this isn't Lala. And someone, and five people just liked my comment right now as I just <laughs> looked at my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi and Bailey, two new girls. I don't know that we needed more girls, but sure. I know, we need some more right guys. Now. You saw Jesse got fired from his job. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. Why? He was like, you know, they don't, they, they're in finance. They don't want that shit out there. Like, you know, yeah. it's very, so, Makes you know, he, but I thought he, he was, he was as upset yeah. as you could be on reality TV. I think he was like yeah. a gentleman to be completely honest. Yeah. But, but you know, Eek. well, yep. They're so. filming. I saw, um, they must've done like some kind of 4th of July thing after 4th of July because, Sierra, Amanda, and Paige did a TikTok, and it was about like America or something like that. And they were wearing red, white, and blue. Yeah, they probably had like. And a then, oh, of July I sent you guys the picture of Jesse, and I was like, "This is the old house, isn't that the fireplace in the mm-hmm. old kitchen?" So they are in the old house. So there you have it, mystery solved. And I so broke that know- news first. Bravos and cocktails. <laughs> do you know my like hang up with that house has been like why don't they fix the floors why are these floors so jacked up yeah no it's because yeah. of they they tape down all the wires for filming makes oh. sense i never fucking i thought this house just had shitty floors <laughs> like, with the front, like with the front door situation you yes, mean yes i thought they yeah. just taped the floors i'm like that's oh my dumb. God. so funny, <laughs> so funny. So um, good. I, Royal uh, Orange County premieres tonight. We need to talk about that. I'm so excited. I am honestly. so excited. And Darcy, you're doing a rewatch right now. And I, I am think doing that a would rewatch. Make you even more excited. I love that. I I'm mean, I want to rewatch. Just... It's a lot of seasons, though. I know it's like 15, right? I'm on yeah. five right now. It's just yeah. Tamara even more. 
She hates I know Tamara. you're not gonna like her. She's Tamara. disgusting. I okay. I'm gonna get on a soapbox. Tamra brought the nastiness to Housewives because she like, did seasons one yeah. through four. Like I loved it. It was like fun, light, silly, stupid. And then Tamra starts going in on Gretchen, and it's literally this like hell spiral into just I fucking hate her. Did you see like? Did you go to Bass Lake? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So my dad go always Bass goes to Lake. <laughs> my dad always goes to Bass Lake, and I'm like, "Did you go to Bass Lake?" Every time he says it, and he's like, "Yeah," and he never gets it. I'm like, I say it every single time though. I'm like, "You went to Bass Lake?" She's nasty. how dare you? She was nasty as Tamara Barney. She's even nastier as Tamara Judge. Just saying. Tammy. Fucking Tammy. I'm so excited. So, like, people yes. are posting all kinds of stuff about, like, like Gina posted something like when you realize that you have to watch Shannon and Alexis enter the same room together. Like, <laughs> I'm pumped for that. The quiet woman posted Alexis. Oh, my God. Like, and they're like, we love you, Alexis. I'm like, you don't love Shannon? <laughs> Shannon said, this isn't my fucking plate, you bitch, and made the quiet woman the quiet woman. Like, let's be honest. She goes, everything that happens is like, the quiet woman is like an extra cast member. It everything is. that goes down off camera, it's like, oh, I was at the quiet woman. I was at the quiet woman. I'm like, I uh, want to go to the on fucking camera, quiet woman. This isn't my plate, you fucking bitch, was at the quiet woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's Shannon's haunt, and I don't like that they chose Alexis because Shannon made you guys what you are today i know i don't like yeah i don't like that they did that i think it's super fucked up they're team alexis and johnny J. that's gross it's weird gross. they're shopping for engagement rings Ooh. also i have to say this maybe alexis just never wore her hair up before but like what the ha- there's your ears when did that happen get those pinned back you've had a thousand things done pin your ears back dumbo <laughs> i am on one today I you really are. I am what? shook. I never paid attention. Now that's all I'm going to be able that's to look at tonight. Look at. And it's all did I'm going to be able to think about. Did you see it, Darcy? Did you I, see it in not the until you called it out. Well, she has but one, her now, hair oh, but now I'm gonna one just ear like, and I was like, oh my God, how did we never notice those? Okay. Well, mm-hmm. I'm looking just right me now. then, maybe. Um, yeah, I just, I ear shamed her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. One of my biggest, like, um, annoyances on my body is my ears. I think I want to really? get them back. Yes, I hate my ears. Right. I'll show you guys. What's wrong with your ears? What's wrong oh with your God. ears? What's wrong when with I was growing ears? up, they were, like, so big. I can't wear my hair half up. It makes them look like giant ears. Like, I'm telling you, I always said I was Dumbo. Oh, my oh. God. I would never think that. Oh, that's funny. Thank your you. I appreciate like I that. Have- Okay. Lala nice got her ears pinned back. She knew what she was doing. <laughs> uh, right? Um, yeah, I mean, Josh Fly got his ears pinned back. I, I, it's a thing. It's easy to do. Just yeah. go do it. You've got, look at Jesus Jugs. Like, you've gotten enough work done. You probably can get them for free. <laughs> Throw in an ear pin back at your next visit. What else, anyway. is, what else is going on? Well, so Shannon apparently, so I saw like a video, Queens of Bravo posted it of Tamara. I guess she like maybe went live or something and she was saying that like, Shannon Bedore is trying to find receipts and you want to know how I know because she went back two years and liked something mm. accidentally like in our text conversations. <laughs> find those receipts, <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> I so did see that. I did. I did. You know, one time I was stalking someone's Instagram and I rolled down mm. and I liked a photo and I didn't mm. realize I did. Done and then it. like he friend requested me and I'm like, <laughs> Oh my god! Did I like one of his photos? And then I, I declined the friend request and unlike the photo. So Instagram will always tell you. I did it on Facebook the other day accidentally. I was in a deep dive. I was on like someone's mother's page, and Romeo hit my phone <laughs> and liked something. I was like, no! And I like undid it really fast. But they said that if you do it on Facebook quick enough, they won't find out. I was like, this is okay. embarrassing. That's like yeah. my deep, my worst nightmare. When someone wants to see something, I'm like, don't like or touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally liked somebody's comment that like just like <laughs> creeping around looking at stuff like the comment. I feel like everyone's like, done it. Fuck. Everyone's done it. I love that. It's so good. Yeah. And so when people I do went... it to me, I'm like, you fucking weirdo. What are you doing? <laughs> deep, what are you doing deep diving in 2015 on my Facebook profile? You weirdo. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, well, speaking of photos. So Teresa posted the oh, photo of her and Larsa. We have to talk about it. I think it's so funny because she 
thinks it's funny. But so she posts the photo of her and Larsa for Larsa's birthday, and she clearly photoshopped it. So she said that she didn't like the background of their photo. And so her assistant was in Mexico and she was like trying to ask her how to fix the photo. And she's like, I'm in Mexico. And she goes, Great, send me a picture of the beach. And she oh just God. plopped them into the beach, apparently. <laughs> But she did a bad job. And she's like, yeah, I just think it's funny. And then people are like, but did you do it on purpose? Because it looks like so bad that it's purposeful. And she's like, I mean, I changed the background. I didn't like it. But she is reposting. <laughs> like, So people are putting them everywhere, which I think is so funny. We put them in a pineapple grove. Someone put them in the White House. That one that, that like every other Bravo celebrity is like putting themselves in it and going fixed it mm-hmm. is so funny to me. <laughs> so funny. With MJ. Yeah, and then, well, first it was Marisol, and then MJ fixed it, and then, like, the Dubai girls fixed it. It's so funny to me. I don't know. I just think it's hysterical, but I think what – the best thing about it is is Teresa is laughing at herself, and, like, to me, that's mm-hmm. just, like, a true testament of, like, being a good housewife. Like, you can laugh it off, you know? I've always thought she, like, takes herself unserious, and she doesn't care. She, like, literally doesn't care. Right. So she was on Live with Kelly and Mark, and – they were saying, like, it's rumored you're going to leave, Ron Jay or whatever. And she's like, I'm not – I started the show and I'm not going anywhere until Bravo tells me to leave, basically. And then people are Fair coming enough. at her for saying, I started the show. Okay, whatever. She was on the show when it started. Like, semantics. She's not – Here's the thing. If she leaves, people. what are they going to talk about if she leaves? It'll be so still boring. Her. So boring. It They'll w- still talk about her. Yeah. It would be so boring if she left. Like – did you guys see the Chanel Ion thing where like she yeah someone was saying like oh well look if everyone loves Teresa how come Melissa has more followers and Chanel was like Melissa has more followers is that true is she buying them yeah. so funny. <laughs> well and then Teresa like posted a picture of her and Chanel yeah. together yeah and said love you like she knows what she's doing it's true she knows what she's doing. I think Teresa is a lot smarter than most she's people give smart. her credit for. Mm-hmm. Even like me, like I'm like, damn, she really is. Like when she was like, I'm playing Jackie, I was like, Teresa, you're fucking smart. She was so, like a fashion all. buyer for like Macy's or something. Like, she's not an idiot. Like you can't be yeah. an idiot and have those jobs. She's yeah. Smarter. She's smarter than we think. Um, there's only three episodes of Ron J left. I know. How many? I gotta look. That's like not that many episodes. That's twelve episodes. Twelve episodes. Does that include their alternative reunion? So I don't know if it includes the alternative reunion. Okay. Okay. How the fuck are they gonna air it if there's only three episodes left? Yeah, it's got to be like this week. I can't believe they only did three episodes. That's how bad. Like that's how bad the season must have been for them to only have twelve episodes to give to the public. Like that's not good. They must not have given much. And they well, didn't want to do a Potomac. Mm-hmm. Now Andy's saying it could go one of four ways, but I don't know which. I didn't look farther into it to see what those ways were. But I'm just team get the Gorgas out of there, please. I'm so over them. Do you I'm see they're like, doing an appearance at some like hotel when they go to parents weekend? I did Antonio. see that. Somebody said, no. how do they pay their bills? You know what yeah, I did see? That's how. Forget uh, what did it? What did Marge call Jackie Benedict Jackie or something? It's Benedict Danielle. Like she took the stupid charity event she did last year and then just rebranded it and added Melissa and Rachel Fuda instead of Teresa and Jen Aiden. It's like mm-hmm. get a life. You're just a flip flopper. Go back to fucking true life Staten Island. You lose. Did you notice on the flyer it said a portion of the proceeds will go to whatever charities? It's like, and the other portion sure will to go to Danielle's that? pocket. She steals from. Children. I love when uh, Jennifer was like, "I don't pay for that stuff. I just use it out of my pocket." I'm like, "Yeah, Jen, because you're yeah, rich." Cause that's called charity. Charity. <laughs> well, don't throw a charity event if you can't afford to like charitize. I don't know. <laughs> charitize. You can't afford to be charitable. Then don't do it. Run a charity. Just saying. It's like go lower level. You know, go to like do Habitat for Humanity. You don't have to like run a whole event if you can't afford it. Mm, true fair enough and she lives in a mediocre house in south jersey so i don't think she mm. can afford it right it's yeah, not south north jersey. jersey it ain't north jersey it ain't north jersey 
Um, last night I texted you guys and I was like, I'm watching We Ride at Dawn. And you were like, what's that? So that's Hannah Burner's <laughs> Netflix comedy special. And she's funny as fuck. She's super funny. I loved it. You guys have to watch it. I will take your word for it because I can't. I can watch Netflix. it on my TV oh, in my living room, but I, I can't watch it on my phone. You guys, I got kicked off my necklace. No. I can watch it though in my living room because I'm still not shadow banned from my living room Netflix account. I just said yeah. shadow banned, but Give I don't know time. what that means. What does shadow banned mean? I don't know. It I means just like said I don't it, know, but I don't Usually know. Usually on means. like they'll typically like shadow ban accounts, so like people don't see them. They're like shuttering people being able to view and yeah. interact with your account. So anything you post, it's just not boosted in the algorithm. Oh, exactly. Block from social media site or online forum without their knowledge. Mm. That's not what I meant, I guess. Sorry. Netflix has shadow banned you. They, you <laughs> they did. They blocked me. It says you cannot, you're not part of this household. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, I am. Okay. If you have Netflix and you're not trying to subscribe from someone else's IP address, then please watch it. I think it's so funny. Speaking of Netflix, you know who has a show on Netflix and I heard it's really good is Ryan oh. Serhan. Oh, making Manhattan or made in Manhattan. Something yes. Manhattan. Yes. Selling Manhattan. Yes. Upselling I think that's Manhattan. what it's called. Not yeah, making so. it, <laughs> making it in Manhattan is the new Bravo show, right? Yeah. But I heard that it's good, so yeah, maybe watch there. that I too. It. I saw it. It is on there. It's on. All, it's in that like whole selling whatever collection with buying. Beverly Speaking Lewis. of Ryan Serhan, he used to work like down the road from when I used to work in the city. He used to work like down the street. His office was, and I would see him like at the deli all the time, and I never took pictures of him unless I was like standing a mile away. And like that people would go up to him and he so would take funny. pictures. And I'm like, I can't fucking do it. I can't do it. You are so funny. I know. <laughs> You're like the most like boisterous, like confident person who's afraid of celebrities I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like terrified so of them. Funny. I don't know why. Like I can't. You are the I'm person that would be like least likely to be afraid of celebrities and <laughs> and I'm like the most afraid. And yet you we, are. we went <laughs> <laughs> there's like this newscaster um roseanne scotto and she's like super famous she does like new york city and everything and we were at a yankee game and she was like handing out food because she owns a restaurant and my husband was like um my wife wants to take a picture with you and she's like oh my god yeah but i wouldn't do it i'm like i'm not asking her like no way I mean, even though i love not. her i love her it's on my face it's on my instagram too so i mean and whatever you know i can't do it <laughs> um <laughs> So there was some bougie ass party in the Hamptons and Luann was there and Emma Roberts was there and then Bethany and her daughter were there and they took a video with Luann and in it like Bethany is saying like I guess life is the cabaret and like I guess Luann didn't know that part until she saw it after and she's like she just used her daughter to get to me and it wasn't a genuine connection so it didn't Ooh. it was not a reconnection. Didn't go well. Yeah, she's still blocked. Bethany still has Luann blocked. That's insane. It's like, get a life. <laughs> you aren't. It is. Well, I hope Chanel has Chanel. Bethany blocked. I have. I, I hope they have her. <laughs> no, they sent her a fucking bag. They so sent funny. her like a promo package. I saw oh that, but God. I was Why like, I'm not going to like rewarding open this. bad behavior. <laughs> Why are we rewarding bad behavior? <laughs> what do you mean? We do it every day when we watch Bravo. We reward bad behavior every she day. She terrorized these poor employees. Could you yeah. imagine that nightmare like worst. sulking up to you, walking in and then storming <laughs> oh. out? Get God. fucking real. I hate her. Let's not talk about her anymore. She's dead to me. Um, Phaedra is apparently in talks to return to Housewives of Atlanta. Did you know that? I heard that. I saw that. But she's also I think that I like it. So I wonder if she's going to do both. She doesn't really quite fit in on Married to Medicine. She should just go back to Housewives of Atlanta. And I think maybe she, she should do both and get that check on leave. Well, Candy's gone and now Kenya's gone. So that's probably why she's like, okay, I'll do it. Sheree's gone. Yeah. Ugh, I feel I'm like it's not going to be a good season. It's going to be a season centered around yeah. Drew, and like I can't do it, you oh, guys. I don't no. think I can do it. The I'm going to have to be just like there by default. Is like wild to me. <laughs> if it's about about Portia, I can get down with that. But I'm down with like the Portia it's divorce be about because Portia, Simon yeah. is now like talking about how Portia was with Future. I did. Like, I, I saw I that know more and all these that. other guys. Yeah, I, I want to know that. about. Yeah, that. same. Also, like I bet Portia takes center peach for sure this season. She's back. It's wild. 
Apparently, Cynthia's going to be filming a lot more, but I know how you feel about Cynthia, Amanda. (sighs) She's just such a fucking wet blanket. Cheekbones Bailey. So, Potomac was seen spotted filming in Panama City. Is that Beach, Florida, or Panama? Couldn't tell you. We don't know. Where's Panama? Panama the country? In Central America. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's Florida. Panama City (laughs) Beach, Florida. (laughs) Yeah. that's what i think I'm, too i'm like, I'm like that's what is, potomac is getting that's where, you know like, what i'm gonna google it i gotta look it up you guys keep um, chatting Florabama shore did i ever watch it it's like shore. one of my favorite fucking shows i love that's it where they i'm so mad they PCB. canceled it i know i know well you know why they canceled that show because nilsa had that baby too quick you have to wait three seasons like snooki did and that's when they'll keep you around she she had the baby oh too quick. okay yeah. okay and that other i did love that show brian hated and it they but tried i tried to like it. pretend she didn't but she was like but they then they also filmed just, like wasn't well but she was like literally withdrawing in the basement <laughs> it's like come on guys. they also off. filmed like um during covid and it was like they just stuck in the house like i think that ruined yeah. a lot of things too oh yeah remember they went to that re- okay we're on another podcast Yes, completely. I know. I know. Sorry. I love MTV. <laughs> but speaking of MTV, there's a show coming out that I want to watch, and I forget what it's called. On oh, this real life. It's on MTV with Kim oh, Zolciak. That's what it's on so, MTV. Yeah. Yes, it's on M and TV. So oh, yes. I thought that was like a VH1 that. style yeah. show. I thought it was VH1, one. but it's airing on MTV. So I, MTV mm-hmm. owns VH1, though, right? I think, I think so. Viacom. They own Everything. probably very yeah. Well, that's it for the news and. Then we have two shows to talk about. <laughs> so weird. It's like bizarro. Sorry, I'm gonna go back. It was um an international trip in Panama. So you so guys were Panama yeah. City, yeah. Panama, not Panama City Beach, Florida. Yeah, exactly. Not Florida. <laughs> international. International. They don't go. Ooh, that's an interesting very place. Very often. So good for that. They certainly don't. If I don't want to see four days in Austin, and I definitely don't want to say four days in Panama City Beach, Florida. <laughs> that is for as fucking long as there's sure. no chicken shit bingo. Like, oh my god, god. oh my I'm god, good. Austin was like ten episodes. It was, it was so, so bad. bad. You guys, it's embarrassing. I'm gonna miss though, like Robin being like blah 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 blah. <laughs> <What's that laughs> <with Karen? laughs> And in her embellished hats. I'm going to buy a new embellished hat and just keep her going. I wonder how reasonably shady is going to continue on when Robin's likeness continues to, like, disappear, though. Because if she's not relevant. something to say about it. Oh, yeah. I forgot to talk about that. So Eminem is, like, really trying not to appear in court. And they're like, you're going to have to. Because they are celebrities, too, and they're appearing. (laughs) I think Eminem's celebrity status, the fact that no one's like seen him in like 15 years and he's still as popular as ever is like kind of speaks to his celebrity status, don't you think? They're not even on the same list of like celebrity (laughs) status. I'm so sorry. There was a recent photo posted of him at his daughter's wedding. He's still as cute as ever. He's got a new Mm -hmm. album coming out on Friday. Oh, his last Mm -hmm. new album tomorrow sucked, honestly. But, mm-hmm. yeah. Tomorrow is Friday. I know. Tomorrow's Happy Friday, Friday. kids. Fuck Every day yeah. is Friday for me. I'm I'm on I'm living in living large in upstate New York, people. <laughs> Every day is My kids are on summer break and I'm like so jealous because they don't really like they went fishing today. I'm like, God, I wanna be on summer vacation. Just be on it. Be nice. Work is so overrated. It really is. Yeah. But, you know, gotta pay the bills. Especially for North Jersey. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You live in North Jersey. North Jersey. <laughs> it ain't cheap. No, it and ain't. There's too many motherfuckers here, okay? Let me tell you. I was telling yeah. you guys about that. I feel you. I Do you know how saturated South Florida is after everyone moved during yeah. COVID? And everyone yeah. that lives in North Jersey has a house in Boca, too. So there. That is true. Get out of my fucking town. Get out of my town. My property taxes are out of control. Get out. Okay. <sighs> Let's talk about Below Deck. I am still so fucking annoyed with this Ellie girl. I hate her. I hate her. I mm. can't. Yeah. She's a nasty person. Yeah. She's nasty and she in keeps seven saying- languages. And she's such a snitch. Like, stop talking to Aisha. I mean, I don't think Aisha's buying any of it. No, she's, she's not. Like, she's like, job. Why she's talking to anyone who will listen. It's like, 
first of all, did you see the confessional where she's like, Aisha and I are both your supervisors. You are no one's supervisor. Again, I do not see you at the preference sheet meetings. You are not anyone's boss. Like, Aisha is both of your boss. You are coworkers. Mm-hmm. You are not her supervisor. It's like so it's annoying. A little too big for her britches. I don't it's like super it. Super annoying. It's super. It's like well, and how she there, saying, here's like, the, what it means. Playing if, the victim. Right. Go. Right. No, I was just saying like seconds two to thirds two. It's like uh, if we have to do a safety drill and everyone else fucking dies, you're gonna get to be the one to lead it before the thirds two. That's literally what it means. It doesn't mean you're her fucking supervisor. I can't. <laughs> Didn't so. know that, so you learn something new every day. I made that up, but I think that's what it means. It doesn't mean oh. it <laughs> It's like ah. if there's something important on the boat and every single person in command has fucking jumped ship, you're the next one. That's all it means. Okay. Okay. I appreciate that. I hate her, and I hate that she's trying to make everyone like get on her side. It's like the more you talk about it, the worse you look. And you're not fucking Bree's supervisor. And who cares? The girl's sleeping on the floor because she's afraid of you because you're fucking insane. And also, <laughs> is this Joe guy worth the cat fight? Is he? No, no. No, no man is worth it. I will be firmly 100% on that. No man is worth it. Thank Whoa. you. I'm a man yeah, hater. I you agree know? with the segment, but you just went from <laughs> Because like you know how they hundred. call like men who don't like women misogynists? I am that, but with like women who don't like men. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that would be called though. Mm-hmm. So. I and I'll know. own it 100%. I don't care. I love this. My, I was just thinking okay. that every my mom has like a girl, a group of girlfriends and every time they go out my dad's like the women, the man haters clubs getting together again. <laughs> <laughs> good for them tell your mom i want to be part of that so funny <laughs> invite me to the next zoom meeting Ugh. i honestly in my brain i just am like oh i am just so much smarter than all men so i don't like, I, like everything they say i'm just like oh really that's so good good for you sweetie good for you i just know i'm smarter than all of them sorry to our one percent of male listeners <laughs> Pablo, it, Pablo, I don't feel that way about you. He's excluded. <laughs> he's excluded from that. Yes, he is. Yes. He um. Is. So, th- yeah, I don't think Joe is worth. He's not even like those eyebrows. Like he's not that attractive to me. The <laughs> other Joe Bradley on Bravo might be worth it. Not this one. I'll ask Danielle and Luann if it was worth the cat fight. Oh God. <laughs> um. Trishel's still on board. She's been a boring guest. She's but people really are saying okay. they everyone's saying she's actually the smartest like celebrity to go on below deck because she hasn't like acted a fool or made it about her or like done anything crazy. So people like people will just continue to be indifferent. But people fucking hate her. I posted that one post about her and people are like, get her off my screen. I fucking hate her. Like I can't stand Aren't her. Aren't they people so mad her. because of the MJ thing? Are they so mad about the MJ? Is that why they don't yeah, like her? Yes. But to be honest, I hated her since real world Las Vegas. I found her so fucking annoying. Ever oh, I loved she her that, when she was hooking oh, up with she had Steven. That fake pregnancy scare with Steven. <laughs> <laughs> that was so dramatic. I was like so young when I was watching. I'm like, oh Thank my you. God. We used to watch it together. And now we'd have I'm like, like swim practice. I know. Say we'd watch it at 10 p.m. on MTV in my bed when we had swim at five in the morning. And then I was like, "This is so dramatic." And then you know, you grow up and you're like, "Well, it happened." So. Wednesday nights on the 10 spot, MTV, taking it back, people, <laughs> oh taking it back to the 2000s. God, I think we need to like bring True Life back and all those good yes. shows. Oh yeah, those those True Life. Good. I love True Life. It was so, like okay. my fave. Singled out. That was my favorite show. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jenny McCarthy. Loved yeah. that show. Yeah. Like what was the one with the boss next? Next. I love oh, Next. Yeah. I would come home every day after uh-huh. school and sit there and like watch Next because it was on in TRL. God, you guys. Uh, that's for, like, these Y'all kids these days, they don't, they don't know how good MTV it. used to be. You don't know so how bad. good it is. When you have to call in every day to try to get your song to be number one on Golden <laughs> Live. Uh-huh. <laughs> now you just go to your iTunes chart and figure it out. Fuck that. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Oh, we just aged God, ourselves. So Let's get back to Below Deck. So Ian is a terrible bosun. He left the freaking he tender sucks. running all night. He's awful. <laughs> he is awful. I can't believe he still has a job. Like, I think Sandy – after she got so much hate for firing Hannah, I feel like she came back and she's so yeah. different. 
Is that me? She like she's really so much more chill. Is mild now, yeah. She really is. Right? I thought I think it's because she's like happy and in love too. When you're in love, you just don't fucking mm. care. You don't care. Because when Hannah was on the show, she was so mean. And I think that's yeah. what like partly made her me not like her. And I didn't what? even like Hannah that much. I know she's not engaged yet, but obviously she's prepping for that. But I think I was saying it last time, like the year I was getting married, like work is the last thing I fucking cared about. You could have done anything and I wouldn't have given a shit. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's where she is. Just happy and in love. Mm -hmm. And that's that. But she's actually not that nice. We At BravoCon, she wasn't nice. And neither was her girlfriend, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. She just is like. Remember. They like blew, they were like kind of blew past like in the like in that main area, like the room with all the like mm. um booths and stuff. And they didn't want to talk to anybody. And everyone else was like stopping and taking pictures and they like blew through and they were not about it. But anyways, I'm sick of Ellie and I hope that she gets fired, but I don't think I she am does. incredibly invested in what is gonna happen with this anchor because <laughs> the anchor was like part of the like promo for the series like i need to know what happened who fucked up what's gonna happen to the anchor tender the battery's dead what have a lot of where is this going and it's like we have to catch a flight now and they haven't left yet it's not and so you can't even (laughs) take them in the tender because you fucking killed the battery this is what i live for this is like i'm here for it to be continued it was a to be continued episode guys Ah. i hate that (laughs) Um, Uh, yeah real cliffhanger real cliffhanger i think they all make it we'll see of course they could it's like every time they leave a cliffhanger on when they try to back into the dock well it's like like, you leave a cliffhanger but you show us the whole season just like i we didn't know if that the chef was getting fired and darcy's like he's in the end when she proposes i'm like well i guess we figured it out (laughs) didn't we (laughs) thanks bravo (laughs) um i watched you by this morning it was a little boring this week, but it's still good. It was very I boring. It. I, I mean, it was boring. I don't know. I wasn't into it. Well, I didn't watch it until last night, and I was like, was it on already? Because I didn't see anybody talking about it. So, like, before it felt I like watched a filler it, I like, episode. it must have been a boring episode if nobody's saying anything about it. It was a very it, personal episode, like, with your own yeah. personal problems, and I'm just not well, into that. It's like one of those episodes, they're like those fillers where they're trying to like connect something from before to something that's coming up. I hate when mm-hmm. they do that. They don't do it well. I don't like that. Those connect those connection filler episodes. Connect the dots. Yeah, because then the, uh, what we got after that was like still to come this season. So we're halfway through already. Yeah. But but Your the first season only got 10 episodes. Bad. I just saw that today too. They yeah. said this is going to get I don't know why I like it. Like, I don't want it to go away. I think, I think it's good. I think it's better than other shit we've been forced to watch. Atlanta. I think I, they waited way too long between seasons. I do, too. I well, think that's what happened as well. I think there's a couple standouts, and they're just on the wrong show. And if they moved from Dubai to maybe somewhere else, we could have a better show. Like, Chanel and Stanberry could move somewhere else, and we have a better show. Chanel was born to be on TV. Mm-hmm. Like, I love I her. am obsessed with that yeah. woman. That would be the only reason to keep the show going, her and Stanberry. But mm-hmm. what do I know? I don't produce TV. I am just the, like <laughs> Sarah and Brooks are annoying. Like they could go. They are not bringing anything. I don't want to hear about the fucking glass house anymore. But they were saying Sarah's like a walking Instagram meme, and it's true. She like just speaks in fucking like riddles and affirmations. I'm over it. I don't mm-hmm. want to hear it. You're fake and phony baloney to me. Next, preach. Next word yeah that was it i mean sergio's family's visiting they're caroline does not like sergio or his family years it's been two years since this was filmed you're giving them an another additional two years okay yeah i mean and so think about that so she said they had been together for five years at that point so they've been together for like seven years yeah and she's giving it 10 to 15 so darcy you're like two more years you're on track darcy i just think like but she if knows that. Like, she's realistic he's about He's saying. It. Yeah. yeah. But if what he's saying, like, still holds true, like, how badly he wants to have a family and a child, like, he's not going to get that with her. So, no. Like, yeah. No, it's been, it, they get, the doctor gave him one year. Yeah. And now she's past 50 because it's been two years. So she's, I don't, she doesn't want another baby. Why would she want another baby? She's a 50-year-old woman. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Right. 
It doesn't make sense. And, and she does. She already I raised like, three children. I feel like she's being up front. I mean, even his mom is like, she doesn't want a baby. She's not having a baby. Yeah. But you are like, so he wants that and you're her. taking away the best years of his life too. But guys can have Well, then he forever. should leave her. He should. She's she, in yeah. love. He is head over heels in love with her. She's not head never, over heels in he love with him. He will never leave her. No, it's a boy toy. Really? Interesting. Interesting take. Well, she will He needs to grow up. She will remove him if he won't leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she'll, be the, she'll be the one that ends it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was pretty much it. I mean, Brooks threw a birthday party for her son. Great. No one cares. She's and- just nasty yeah like, she was like shoving her hands and like her ex-husband's face because he was going to like say hello right. to one of the other moms that and whole relationship like, no, no, doesn't no. make sense it's like you took not you didn't you have no support from him but you guys still like co-parent somehow why like it just none of it makes sense to me i do it. not believe that he doesn't give her any money I think so, there, if he doesn't, then there is something that he did or like maybe he bought her out completely or like bought her a home or did something. Well, didn't he, he buy doesn't. the glass house? I think he bought yeah. the glass house. Like, yeah. Okay. It. Yes. But that's okay. like, so after I think the, it, that's after their divorce though. He like in, yeah. invested. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. I think he pays for her lifestyle. I think I'll be honest. Everything she says is a lie. The, I also scared. heard that she sleeps with a lot of men for money. Or she sleeps with a lot of men that have money. Good Allegedly. I know. I'm not opposed to that. You get it. So. Smart. She's just a loose cannon on Twitter. Like, <laughs> a real loose cannon goes after people personally for any mention of her name. Like, it's too much. It's, it's, it's something. It's too much. Well, those were the two shows of the week. <laughs> There you have it. <laughs> yeah, we stretched. We stretched that. We did good. You guys, I'm so excited for OC today. tonight. I'm, I'm excited for OC. I can't wait. Yeah. I was telling you guys. You guys should all look up this lady on um, TikTok. She's. She, I don't know what she is. I'll get you her info and I'll say it next week. But she posts the outfits of what everyone wears and how much it costs. And I was telling you, I can't wait for her to post Gina's because it's all going to be like she and specials. Gina Sheena. Or Gina. <laughs> oh, I just like why is she still a housewife on her fucking Royal Caribbean? Group? We didn't ever talk about that. We um, never talked fucking, about that, and you wanted no, to, yes. Okay, bitch, yes. I'm, I'm, okay, so like it was what three weeks ago or something. I was sending you guys these like messages. I'm like, you guys, Gina is on a fucking Royal Caribbean cruise. Like, you said she's in a cabin. She's like in an inside cabin yeah, with bunk she's beds. She's on an interior <laughs> cabin on a fucking Royal Caribbean cruise, shoving as many family members as you can into one cabin with one little tiny bathroom. Like the word you could you could only do worse if you went on carnival and at least that's like the fun drunk cruise and you're you're fucking on Royal Caribbean like you're not even on like celebrity or something like that like Virgin Voyage I don't know I just she's and they're all wearing the lanyards guys the fucking lanyards that you put your key card I'm like it's like your first time out like I cannot like if you have to do that on a fucking vacation and she's posting pictures of herself like getting ready for the captain's ball in her fucking sheen ball gown like I. Can't I cannot. Oh my god, the I'm lanyards like, when you send the picture. I died when you send the pictures of the lanyards. Like that is so funny. It's I so can't. funny. I can't. I mean, do like, they I give get you guys... the lanyards? Like, I've never been on. I, I don't do cruises. So, no. I don't do cruises. No, you have to purchase your ten dollar lanyard to put your card in, so you don't lose your card. Because what the like? You've never stayed in a hotel. Do you ever lose your room key? Like you're gonna lose your card? Just go to the fucking desk and get a new one. I was I'm gonna, gonna say, don't you just go to the front it? desk oh. and like get another one? Oh my <laughs> god! And it's like, and every hotel you charge to the room, so it's like it's not like you need it because you're gonna charge everything to your fucking room. I just can't. I cannot. The freaking lanyards. The kids I've all got never the lanyards. Seen you so riled up because I'm just like literally. You're on a fucking Royal Caribbean cru- like nothing against Royal. Caribbean. Here's my conspiracy like, theory. Dollars a week. Here's my conspiracy theory. She gets to. She's been a housewife for so long because she doesn't care. She'll take two thousand dollars an episode. Like her paycheck must be so I low for them to so keep bad. her because she's not interesting. I mean, I'm telling no. you, her paycheck, she must be like, whatever, I don't care. Just I'll It can't be it big. She, she lives in a tiny house with six children. It can't be big. I know. I said that somebody was like posting on uh, Reddit and they were like, why has Shannon never bought a house? 
And someone's like, yeah, she should buy a condo with two bedrooms. And I'm like, or with bunk beds. I'm like, yeah, bunk beds for six children. And everyone loved it because that's what Gina lives in a fucking condo for six kids. Drives me crazy. How? I just. Where do you put your stuff? None of it makes. I just don't know how she ever got to be on Housewives to begin with. It's like they were really scraping for people at the time. And how and why has she lasted? I don't know. Just because she fights with Shannon, that's why she lasted. Because she makes Shannon fucking crazy. That's the only reason she's still on the show. Because she <laughs> makes I'm Shannon talk so like this. Good. That's why she's on the show. Because Shannon comes out like this. I'm paralyzed by arguments with John. I, yes. I didn't say we're having problems. I said we have arguments that paralyze me. <laughs> you guys, I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. As much shit as I talk about Gina, like I am glad that she's there to rile Shannon up. Especially for this season. Yeah. Oh, like, with the just, DWI, it's going to oh, be so yeah. good. Did Justice you see for the clip Archie. they showed of like – a few like a look at the episode but it showed shannon showing the picture of herself after the accident oh yeah no. with her face all holy bleeding holy shit it's scary. like bad yeah it's really her face she's is, like covered in blood so she was just like walking the dog pretending to be on a walk when her face was covered in blood she I'm botched gonna, her yeah. her facelift that john jansen that she owes him all the money for oh my god <laughs> she said she would pay him back but he wouldn't sign the nda here lies Shannon Bedore. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's like one of my favorite episodes. I mean, that's why. That's why the house, the OC is so good. Because it's it so is. crazy. It's so good. Uh-huh. All those Bunko party. Like, those were oh the days. God. Bring back Gretchen, when, honestly. Bring back Gretchen. One of my favorite scenes is, like, Tamara when they're out to eat and they're, like, on vacation. And everyone's, like, starts making, like, picking on her. And she gets up from the table and she's yeah. running, like, a mile down yeah. the hallway. It's so <laughs> funny. She's <laughs> sprinting that's, and it's, she's like you'll never see me again and she's sprinting i mean that's, that's unhinged TV, behavior right? yes yes it's yeah. like unhinged Isn't, behavior it's the same one where no that might be a different season where they all like are in, they like go in the pool with their clothes on and stuff like that <laughs> and they bring the drinks in the pool and the whole tray falls yeah oh, oh my can't. god it's so good I i'm can't. ready for it tonight i know yeah. all right, welcome ladies. back jesus jugs <laughs> I had to go to Z- on Xanax for it, Lydia. <laughs> the other thing I say all the time, I when Romeo cries, I, I always say Take that. By Xanax, the way. calm down, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I always say I had to go on Xanax for it, Lydia. <laughs> and also, I always say take a Xanax. So yeah, that's just so good. It's so good. Little tidbit on Reddit about Ramona is. A Reddit user ran into Jax and Sandoval spent the night drinking with him. Jax confirmed he had hooked up with Ramona. I believe it. Confirmation. Oh. Good for Ramona. So, mm. Do with that what you will. Maybe good for Speaking Jax. Speaking of people who look great for, for old age, Ramona looks great for her age. I wish, yes. I mean, I, I could only hope to look mm-hmm. that good. So. She's about to have a 70th birthday with 70 of her closest friends. She looks great. <laughs> You guys, I'm baby free. Did you even notice? My mom has my baby. Me too. My mom has mine as well. Mine has mine. It's not. She doesn't feel well either. So I'm about to pop a lover boy. I'm ready. Ready to party. Love that for you. Get it. What are you guys doing this weekend? We're having Summer's birthday party. Oh yeah. And then it's my birthday on Sunday. Oh my god. Yeah. Birthday party for yourself? No. No. I think I'm gonna go to my cousin's christening. My cousin's okay. son's christening. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. What is Brian so. getting you for your birthday, more importantly? Nothing. Nothing. Anything nice. I want, I could buy. Ooh, yeah. I, like I mean, we're not really into big gifts. We don't, you know, we just, it's the same yeah. bank account. So if I really want something, I would buy it. So, that's you know. We haven't really bought, we don't buy gifts for each other either, actually. We yeah. have gotten a gift since... I think you bought me a Rolex like a year ago. That was the last gift I got. Yeah, Brian bought me like a Louis a couple years ago, so he's just been rolling with that for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Rolex, the Rolex was like, he's like, well, I bought you a Rolex. No, this is what he's been doing. He bought me a Prada diaper bag, and he's been like, I bought you a diaper bag. I'm like, okay, but that was like my birthday, Easter, Valentine's Day, our anniversary. Like how many holidays? Our push present. Like, you All you have to say is like, I gave you a child, Joe. I yeah. gave you a child. Um, my pre- my push present is an IOU, but I we just we haven't gone and okay. picked it up. I know what I want, though, but we haven't picked it up yet. 
I bought myself this for Mother's Day. It's a little sweatshirt. It says Mama, established in 20. <laughs> and then it has so a little, it has Romeo on the sleeve with a little heart. Oh, cute. Aww. Cute. So cute. Well, Cuties. I'm home visiting my family with my son, and we are going to the zoo on Saturday. Have the best time. Mm. I love the zoo. I do like the zoo because they're behind cages. So mm. yes. yeah, that's where you yeah. like your animals. I do. Although, I absolutely do. I was there one time and I watched a porcupine spray an entire family. So spray them with don't what? Get too the porcupine fluids. Oh my god! What's like a porcupine a fluid? It doesn't smell pleasant. Like how a skunk oh, would spray yeah. the porcupine, just like. Oh no! Projectile. So just stay Why away would from it porcupines. Even, like a porcupine's a zoo animal. Like that's gross. It's like, what are you gonna? Have, yeah. Like, are you gonna have a goldfish exhibit? Like that's weird. No, a like, porcupine is. Have you ever seen a porcupine? They're kind of cool. They're super oh. cool. Yeah. I guess I'll let you know. But I got but the kids heads matching up. little. Safari there's a show outfits. on Disney Plus. There's that. There's a show on. That's cute, Jenna. There's a show on Disney Plus that goes behind the scenes of like Animal Kingdom, and I watched it. And I don't even like animals that much. I grew up at the Utica Zoo. Mm, I love that for you. Mm -hmm. You're adorable. What are you doing this weekend? Uh, Yard work. Yup, you know it. (laughs) We had brush pickup. So all the ivy's cleared. We've just got a little more ivy. And then we're going to dig our pond. Wow, Your mosquito pit. That's what it's I like to call gonna it. It's going to be a very nice pond. The fish are going to eat the skeeters. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, kids. Well, I can well, smell my mom dinner, it. so I'm out of here. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Because <laughs> I'm not cooking and I'm not doing anything. And she's taking care of my kids. It's the best. I love it. All right. If you like what you heard here, follow us on our socials. Follow us on Spotify firstly or wherever you get your podcasts. You can follow us on our socials at on Instagram at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on Threads at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on TikTok at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on Twitter at Bougie Bravo Bees. We have a Facebook group and we also have a YouTube channel. That's it, bitch.